Step one, take this URL and paste on your new browser tab. Okay, let's go back. Now click on this button and choose download as zip. Step two, take this URL and paste just like before on new browser tab. Okay, let's go back. Click with your mouse here on Windows installer and download the file. Step three, double click on install Figma agent, the file you downloaded on step two. First, you have to locate it. I hope you uh, download it on your desktop. And if not, locate this file, double click and install this agent. Step four, locate the file, the zip file that you downloaded on step one. This is how it looks like on my desktop. And double click. I'm on latest Windows, so I don't have to use WinZip, 7-Zip or any other program to open zip file or zip files. All I had to do was just double click and this is how it looks. Uh, I have a folder inside this zip file. Okay, so this is the file and this is the folder inside. And once you double click on this folder, you'll see font files inside. Or you can use 7-Zip, WinRAR, WinZip, or any other program which is free. You just have to Google it. For example, here I'm showing how to use WinRAR and I open this program and located uh, my zip file on the desktop here and I just double clicked and uh, here is this uh, folder and if I double click again I have all the files, all the font files inside. Step five. Once you double click on the zip file, this zip file here is open, you'll see this folder just like on step four. All you have to do is click on this folder and drag outside on your desktop. You don't want to drag individual font files. No, don't do that. Click on this folder inside and drag and drop on your desktop. Step six, open that folder, the one that you just dragged out. Double click to open it. And here, you'll see how it looks. It looks just like before. This is the folder and it's not a zip folder anymore. It's the one I dragged out. And inside I have all the files, all the font files. Step seven, you have to locate fonts or control panel folder. Here is an example of latest Windows search I have. So all I have to do is click with my mouse and type fonts and you'll see an icon like this, like this, like this. I mean on your search and you can click on it. If you are on older version of Windows, you have to click on a start menu and you can still find a search button or you can find control panel icon and the text which says control panel on your uh, start menu, it should be there. So if you click on fonts icon, you're going to arrive here. If you click on control panel icon, you're going to arrive here and you have to find fonts icon, which is here and just double click on it. And once you double click on it, you, you will arrive here. Two ways to find it and both work. Just try typing fonts first. Step eight. Now is the time to copy or move all your fonts from the folder on your desktop to this folder called fonts, the one you uh, found 
on step 7. So this is the folder you found on step 7 and this is the folder and its contents that you have on the desktop. You don't have to copy and paste readme.md but you have to select all the fonts inside and drag and drop here on this fonts folder. Step 9. You have to double check before you quit fonts folder. Here on top right side I have a search bar and I typed SF here. And look what I've got. I have one, two, three, and let's say four like this. And I have four fonts. SF Pro Display, Pro Regular, Rounded, and Pro Text. And you have to double check. Don't leave fonts folder if you can't find four new fonts by typing SF here on this search bar. Step 10. Close fonts folder, close Figma on your internet browser, restart your internet browser, go to your Figma account, open a new file and type something and here under fonts just type SF and you should have SF Pro, display, rounded and text and let's say if I click on display I have multiple options here if I click on rounded I have to type SF rounded I have multiple options here and so on and so on Figma file is in the description in case you need to go through the steps that's fine just you know take your time and do it and SF font is great I use it a lot I really like it it's great that's it this is how it works nothing magical it's very simple I hope you're going to use SF font on your Windows machine and uh, create beautiful designs